hi so i'm back with another video and in this video i'm going to talk about the blackberry bold 9900 or you can say 9900 so basically this uh, phone was released actually you can say in 2010 or 12 so it's pretty actually old phone but uh, actually i never used blackberry before so i just wanted to give the hands on so i, I just bought it from the marketplace and most of the people ask me from where you buy it for the other older phones so i would say that uh, if you cannot find in the facebook marketplace then you should go for ebay.com or aliexpress.com and definitely you can find on aliexpress even if you will not find on ebay and much cheaper also along with the shipping cost so okay let's talk about this blackberry so this basically this cover is actually plastic and here you will see the kind of rubber if we see if you see the um, my last video of Motorola Motorazer then this is same as what was on back of the Motorola itself so here you has the you have three keys volume up volume down and you can say this button you can assign and this is mostly for camera but I assigned it for the messages so you can of course do the setting in the setting you can change it as you want and it does not have actually it has actually it have qwerty keyboard but uh, in my setting which i bought it is as a azdrty so basically it's a bit difficult to type fast because mostly i'm using qwerty q w e r t y so it is azrty so that's a bit difficult for it but of course you can find it in that setting also there is no issue in that so basically here you have the microphone here you have this led that shows if you have unread messages unread email or the charging is less or battery is low you can say and then you have of course a speaker for the earpiece and here you have the lock and unlock so yeah this works like that so basically actually i told you about everything so here you has a usb b type i would say for any android phone you can use the charger along with this and the earphone you can of course earphone jack please for earphone jack and then you have the flashlight and the camera itself so uh, going on one problem that i faced is the camera itself so when i tried to start the camera then it gives mostly some kind of error and i couldn't find the solution for that so if i go to camera if i open it so you see here it shows nothing sometimes sometimes if i press hard on the camera it will show me something else but basically actually this is the problem with the blackberry with many versions actually so yeah there are some solutions restart it and do something like there are tricks and tweaks but most most of them do not work actually okay so that's all about this and of course the battery is working perfectly fine for three to four days with normal use i'm not using any wi-fi or something so with that three to four days it's okay for me and it does support sd card so here you can see the sd card you can use and sd card i try to insert 32 gp and it works like okay you cannot say it's so fast but it works okay you can use for audio songs or anything else you want okay so now let's get into the menu so here you has the 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 scrollable button or you can say touch button so if i press here you have here the network you have also the wi-fi bluetooth hotspot nfc is also there it's port nfc and of course every, everything else that is you can see in the normal any normal phone okay so there is basically a big issue and i tried to use that so here in the menu you can see you have the messages text messages browser calendar media app word which you can use the apps so basically i don't have to go to each and every menu i would say because it's self-explanatory so yeah i would go that to, to tell the main features that you need like for example you have the wi-fi it's for single sim you can have the email configured here 
and you have the blackberry messenger itself inside and then you have the media alarm clock the media the games that are pre-installed two of them in the media you can have the images toss calculator and many other things that you would say so actually in order to use in 2021 the phone for the text messaging or for you can say uh, for calls it's okay but if you want for whatsapp or something then so you cannot use that you cannot use whatsapp or youtube in so good condition actually youtube you can use from the browser but uh, the whatsapp is not supported anymore so yes basically it is actually it is touch screen also along with that you can use the keyboard the touch button or you can use the, the touch screen so basically yes it's pretty fast i would say it's not actually bad in this way and uh, then if i want to tell you more about the phone then i would say actually you have basically everything that's needed for you i can say and uh, then of course you have this menu this shorter menu so you press this button the blackberry button then you can switch to different apps as you can see in the symbian phones symbian nokia phones the same thing when you press the menu button and the uh, other thing actually of course you can do is you can press single time and you can maximize the panel or you can go go like this or you can use the button to scroll down and develop and so there are three ways to do that and uh, then you can of course switch and then you can there are different um, settings that you can use from there so basically actually it contains everything i would not take a lot of time to tell more about to type for text messages or how to call but yeah if you call there is this keypad you can just 0333 let's say and you can call you can click on this and then you can just start calling so yeah i would don't not want to call on this number so yeah uh, that's how you can call and uh, basically it's pretty nice phone you can use it in 2021 and uh, of course please don't forget to subscribe and like the channel if you have any suggestion then do let me know and if you want anything else or any other phone to review i can of course review that so basically i'm using mostly i'm doing review for the old phones not for the new phones so yeah basically uh, you have to keep in mind that and that's all i think that's all and it's pretty nice phone and of course many people ask me from where they can buy it and i would say go to ebay.com you will find every phone if of course sometimes shipping cost is more so you can go to aliexpress.com and then you will have the phone with the low shipping cost so that's all and have a nice day bye